2009 17 inch MacBook Pro both hinge replacement. Start off by shutting down and flipping over your MacBook. Remove the cover that's fastened with 10 Phillips head screws. Remove the 7 Phillips head screws that are short first, starting in the top left and going around the contour of the MacBook. Now the 3 long Phillips head screws. Lift and remove the cover. Begin by disconnecting the battery first. LCD assembly removal. Disconnect the eyesight cable. Gently pry your screwdriver underneath and get a good grip on the cable. And just pull it to your left. There might be a small plastic safety clip connected to it. Go ahead and remove that. Remove two covers. One that's covering the Bluetooth and one that's covering the eyesight bracket. We'll be disconnecting the Bluetooth antenna first. Go ahead and pry underneath it with your screwdriver gently popping it up and out of its socket. You can now disconnect the Bluetooth data cable. Now let's remove the two Phillips head screws that are holding in the eyesight camera bracket. Once those two screws are out of the way, we can go ahead and remove the bracket. Let's disconnect the LVDS cable next. Gently pry up on the latch lock. Now that it's unlocked, you can pull it back and it'll slide out of the socket. Now let's remove the two Phillips head screws that are holding in the LVDS bracket. The second screw you can unscrew but leave it in the bracket. This will be easier to track it. Remove the bracket. Go ahead now lift and open up the MacBook and hang it over the table ledge. Remove the three T6 screws that are holding in the left hinge. Remove the three T6 screws that are holding in the right hinge. You can now gently pry upwards and remove the LCD assembly. Both hinge replacements. Please note in this example the glass is missing on the LCD assembly. Begin by removing the component cover by sliding it to the right and pulling it up from the middle. It should come right out. Once the co cover has been removed, go ahead and remove the two T6 screws at the bottom of the hinge. the T6 screw that's on top of the hinge. There's only one. Be careful. As you undo the screw, the hinge might fall. The hinge is now free. To 
To reinstall your replacement hinge, go ahead and secure it with the top T6 screw first. Note that all three T6 screws are the same size. Go ahead and install the bottom two T6 screws. Note, the same exact procedure applies to the right hinge as well. Place the component cover back over the components. Having it a little slightly to the right helps. Make sure all the cables are tucked in and are not preventing the component cover from clicking in. Once it's clicked in, just slide it to the left. LCD assembly reinstallation. Go ahead and place the assembly in. Fasten the assembly with one middle T6 screw on each side. This will allow the LCD assembly to be aligned properly. Make sure that you're not jamming in the Bluetooth antenna cable. It's the blue cable. Go ahead and reinstall the four remaining T6 screws. Lift, flip, close the MacBook. Put it into position. Now let's reinstall the LBDS hinge. Make sure that the LBDS cable is underneath the hinge. Now secure it with two Phillips head screws. The one screw we left in the hinge and then the next screw that's part of the LBDS cable. Go ahead and reconnect the LVDS cable, gently sliding it into the socket. Be very careful when you're doing this as you can damage the socket. Go ahead and lock the LVDS cable. Do not touch any of the components with the screwdriver. Reinstall the EyeSight cable bracket. Place it in making sure that the EyeSight cable is underneath the bracket. Now secure it with two Phillips head screws. Make sure that the cable loop is looped through and secure onto the bracket. Make sure to loop through the Bluetooth antenna cable as well. Go ahead and reconnect the Bluetooth antenna by holding it over the socket and pressing it in. Now reconnect the Bluetooth data cable. Trace down and tuck in the EyeSight camera cable. You can now reconnect the EyeSight camera cable. Go ahead and gently slide it into the socket.
replaced the covers back on. One over the eyesight cable, one over the Bluetooth, and one over the eyesight cable bracket portion. You can now reconnect the battery. Gently slide it into the socket. Look down and get a better angle as you need to make sure that this goes in correctly. Place the cover back on. Reinstall the three long Phillips head screws first. Then reinstall the seven short Phillips head screws. No resets are needed, you're all done.